Today, we will be discussing abnormal white blood cell count in a simple and easy to understand way. Have you ever wondered what it means when your doctor tells you that your WBC count is off? Let's break it down. When you get a complete blood count, CBC, as part of your checkup or for other reasons, sometimes the WBC count can be higher or lower than normal. This count is crucial because WBCs are like your body's soldiers, fighting infections and keeping you healthy. Your WBC count includes different types of cells, neutrophils, lymphocytes, eosinophils, monocytes, and basophils. Each type has its job in defending your body. If any of these are too high or too low, it can point to various health issues. If your total WBC count is low, it's called leukopenia. This can happen due to several reasons like bone marrow problems, nutritional deficiencies like low levels of vitamins or copper, or autoimmune disorders. The most common type of leukopenia is neutropenia, where you have too few neutrophils, a type of WBC that fights bacterial infections. On the other hand, if your WBC count is high, it's called leukocytosis. This can be caused by infections, stress, certain medical treatments, or even some types of cancer. Neutrophilia, or too many neutrophils, is a common form of leukocytosis. When should you be concerned about your WBC count? It's important to know when an abnormal WBC count is a sign of something serious. Here are some red flags. Severe neutropenia. If your neutrophil count drops below 500 cells, it's a medical emergency because you're at high risk for infections. Significant leukocytosis. If your WBC count is extremely high, it could indicate an acute problem like a severe infection or a medical condition that needs immediate attention. How do doctors diagnose the cause of abnormal white blood cell counts? When your WBC count is abnormal, your doctor will likely run additional tests to figure out the cause. Here's what they might do. Reviewing your blood tests, your doctor will look at your current and previous CBC tests, paying close attention to the different types of WBCs and how they've changed over time. Specialized blood tests. Depending on whether you have leukopenia or leukocytosis, different tests are used. For low WBC counts, tests to check for nutritional deficiencies, bone marrow function, and autoimmune disorders might be done. For high WBC counts, tests to rule out infections, stress responses, and certain malignancies might be necessary. Consulting with specialists. In some cases, your doctor might refer you to a hematologist, a blood specialist, or an infectious disease specialist to get a more detailed evaluation. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.